offer every part of yourself to him as an instrument of righteousness. Yes, thank you, Jesus. For sin no longer be your master because you are not under the law but under grace. grace. What then shall we Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? By no means. By no means. No way. Don't you know that when you offer yourselves to someone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one you obey. Whether you're slaves to sin, which leads to death, or obedience, which leads to righteousness. righteousness. But thanks be to God that... Though you used to be slaves to sin, you have come to obey from your heart the pattern of teaching that has now claimed your allegiance. You have been set free from sin and have become slaves to righteousness. I am using an example from everyday life because of your human limitations. Just as you used to offer yourselves as slaves to impurity and to ever-increasing wickedness. So now offer yourselves as slaves to righteousness leading to holiness. You see, the thing is, we cannot straddle the fence, right? Try to, try to have one foot in the way of the world and one foot in the way of God. That is not you know what happens when you try to straddle a fence? Ouch. Oh, yeah. Ouch. yeah. <laughs> not fun. When you were slaves to sin, you were free from the control of righteousness. You see, doing it my way is not God's way. No. And, and if we can get that through our stick, fixed goal, that we must live God's way, and that's the best way. What benefit did you reap at the time from the things you are now ashamed of, those things result in death. But now that you have been set free from sin and become slaves of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness, and the result is eternal life. For the wages of sin is, of sin is death. But the, Aren't you glad for the word but? The gift. Yes. But the gift of God is eternal life Christ in Christ Jesus our Lord. Our Lord. Amen. Now, when we talk about the word repentance, I want to talk about... Romans 12. The Apostle Paul says, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not be conformed, one foot in the way of the world, right? But be transformed. You've got to take that foot out of the bad side and put both feet on the life of righteousness. But how are you going to do that? He says, be transformed. That word transform has the same root word <laughs> repentance. You got to stop doing the negative and do the positive. You stop doing the evil and do the, the good. Be changed 180 degrees and start living the life of holiness for your own good. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. will. In Acts 3 it says, You killed the author of life, but God raised him from the dead. We're all witnesses of this. But by faith in the name, in the name of Jesus, this man who you see and know was made strong. Now, remember Peter and John were at the temple and they, they found this guy begging for money? And, <coughs> He says, silver and gold have I none, but in the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. And he was leaping and walking and praising God. Yeah. Remember that song? Hmm. And all these people are watching. And of course, the ones that don't want to believe it, what do they do? Stop. They try to stop that from happening. <laughs> Yep. Well, this guy was, he's just an actor. He, he was born, you know, whole, and, and he was just acting his whole life as, as if he were a beggar, and, and, and he could walk all that time. Why? Because they didn't want to believe the truth. 
It is in the name, in Jesus' name, and the faith that comes through him that has completely healed him, as you can all see. Now, fellow Israelites, I know that you acted in ignorance as did your leaders. Ooh, can you imagine what the leaders are thinking now? Because they knew the scriptures, right? Mm -hmm. They thought they knew the scriptures, but they really didn't. Because they knew it in the head knowledge, but it didn't go from here to here. Religion. But this is how God fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets, saying that his Messiah would suffer. Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that in times of refreshing may come from the Lord, and that he may send the Messiah who has been appointed to you, even Jesus. Heaven must receive him until the time comes for God to restore everything as he promised a long time ago through his holy prophets. Thank you, Jesus. And that time is coming. And that time is coming soon. And so you need to ask yourself that question. Are you, re are you ready for his coming? Have you completely made a turn? from your old ways to the way that God wants you to live. Not only for yourself, but then the people that are watching you every day will say, something's different. Mm -hmm. Father in heaven, we thank you so much that you have given us so many chances to repent and turn to you. Lord, just stop doing the bad is not good enough. If we don't turn to you, we're going to end up back where we started. We thank you for your grace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.